Hello, and welcome back to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to take a look at how to make a Code Pen pen in 5 minutes. <laughs> Let's go to Code Pen. So CodePen.io is the location. We'll put the link to this template in there. This is the Zim ES6 template, so we just launched that in the latest version of Zim. CodePen is a place where uh, front-end developers and designers can share works. So one of the things you can do is fork. So we're going to go down here and hit fork. And what that does is it makes a copy of the template. There's no HTML, no CSS, and we just import Zim here. As a matter of fact, we're going to import Zim physics uh, like so so this is the template but we'll get rid of the emitter and uh, whatever else is going on there that es6 rectangle and the label okay we'll save that up and then i have a setting so that uh, save and run are separate i have to save and then i have to run i don't like it auto running all the time pain in the neck so there we go we're ready to create a, a code pen pen they call it that's like a project a pen and I would highly recommend that you go into CodePen and maybe even sign up. Yeah, um, if you, well, I think you can sign up for free, but if you become a member, then you get to store, uh, store images and sounds, etc. And also support the, the CodePen community. It's a wonderful learning tool and community sharing tool. I wish it were actually a little bit more of a community. You've got these comments down below, but it's quite rare that people actually communicate much through comments. However, there's a lot of sharing of code and seeing of code, and they have these fun things called challenges each week. And so we're going to do one of those challenges. This one's for numbers. So the theme for the month is numbers. And then each week there's a challenge based on that theme. And this one is positive and negative. So we're going to uh, use Zim Physics, as you may have guessed, <laughs> or use Zim Physics to demonstrate sort of a positive and negative thing. We'll make um, some circles, you know, go randomly on the stage, but they'll, the ones that are up high will come down low, and the ones that are down low will come up high, or you know, or will, and they'll all meet in the middle. All right. So anyway, that's that's the thoughts, and let's get the counter going then, shall we? So uh, we'll give that a start. And do you see the counter? I don't see the counter. Ah, oh, there's the counter. Okay, here we go then. So if we're using physics, we're going to say const physics is equal to a new physics. And we'll set zero gravity as well. We'll also set the physics to drag, physics.drag. That means by default, everything will drag or you could specify certain things to drag. And now let's make some things. So we'll loop, uh, say, 10 times in each time call this arrow function. And inside the arrow function, we will, um, let's pick a color for a circle that we'll make. So const color is equal to, we'll use pluck. That's a fairly new thing that allows you to pluck from an array of colors such as yellow, orange, green. These are Zim colors, blue, red, pink. How about Okay, so that means we'll get a color and then we will make a new circle. Uh, we'll give it a ran between say 30 and 50 uh, radius and then the color that we've chosen. And the reason why we put it up there in a variable rather than just passing the array right here, which we could have done and Zim V would have picked randomly from that, is that we want a matching color that is darker, darken that 0.5 as a border. So we'll uh, do that. And then we will dot locate that at a rand stage width and comma a rand stage height. So randomly on the stage and we will dot add physics to it. So anything that you want to be have physics added, you would add physics to it. And that's pretty well. We, we have a bunch of parameters there, how bouncy it might be, uh, if it's static, uh, et cetera. There's a bunch of things in there, friction, et cetera, but we don't need any of that, I don't think. And let's see if, um, well, you see what we've got. So I'm gonna run it. And uh, that doesn't look very good. So what happened? Loop 10 times, a new circle, 
we're locating, oh, I got an error there. So we can see what the error is. It's saying loc add physics is not a, oh, plural, add physics. And let's run that again. Apologies, a little typo. So there they all are, and we can throw them around now. Once again, we could make it bouncy because you see that that's not bouncy at all. It's just kind of, but anyway, we're fine with that. Um, and now we want to apply forces. So what we're going to do is make a ticker so we can constantly add, uh, sorry, it will make a ticker. Oh, we don't have the short form of arrow function here. I'm used to coding in my atom where there is but we uh, are gonna constantly add a force. There's different types of forces. There's an impulse force, which is what you would normally use to like shoot something or whatever. But if you wanna use a force like gravity, then it's just force. So here we go. We got to loop through the circles. So let's put those in a container, const circles. It just makes it easier to loop through them. It is equal to a new container. And we will dot add two. By the way, anything in physics, if it, you put it in a container, it needs to be at zero, zero. Um, so just so you know. And then we're going to locate that inside of circles, rather. And now, down below here, we can loop through our circles. So circles dot loop with a nice easy zim loop. We'll each time get a circle and pass that into the arrow function. We can then say circle dot force. So there we go. It will have zero force. This is kind of like gravity. You do it in a loop and it just adds a little bit each time. But um, we'll do three, but times, we're, we're either going to go negative or positive. Hey, and that's what this is all about, negative and positive. So if um, we'll, we'll make it so that if the circle's y position, so we'll put in a little round brackets here, uh, circle dot y is greater than, oh, less than is up, so less than stage width divided by two. Then uh, we'll do this part of it right here, question mark, we'll make it go positive down. So that would be um, positive one. Uh, else, we don't need the positive in there, but I thought it looked kind of cool. Else, we'll make it go negative one. So there we are either going positive or negative, and I think we're missing a bracket, or are we fine? So three times circle that stage Y. Yeah, I don't need that. I want to put the bracket there and then another bracket here. Okay. So if you're doing calculations, or sorry, computations like times, etc., with um, this is called a ternary operator. It's got three parts. It's got a true or false right here, followed by what you do if it's true, followed by what you do if it's false. If you're multiplying that, you've got to put it in brackets, otherwise it won't work properly. Okay, so we save that and let's have a look. Oh, we just went over time, but that was it. I think I uh, maybe we'll stop the timer. <laughs> um, I, I think that was it, except uh, let's see what's going on here. It's not quite halfway. <laughs> there, there are going down and coming up, but why didn't it go stage? Oh, stage height divided by two. Okay, I hope you don't mind. That's pretty close. Stage height divided by two is what we meant in there. And let's run that again. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So now some of them come down and some go up. What might be nice to see is a new rectangle in here. And we can make it stage width in height, in width, <laughs> in width, stage height divided by two. Uh, and we'll make it light in color dot add two. All right, and there we go. That finishes that off. My apologies if that's outside of the five minutes. Um, but that will give us an idea. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we can kind of see what's happening. Positive and negative. Oh, isn't that cool? I love it. Um, so, you know, uh, this has been uh, a uh, code in five minutes with uh, Zim. And I am Dr. Abstract. We did this in CodePen. So come back and check out some of the other Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. There's a lot of them. We did a whole bunch at the beginning. We haven't done one in a little while, so I thought I'd uh, do one of this for, like, the Code Pen template. Isn't that cool? Cheers. Ciao. Come visit us at zimjs.com slash slack, zimjs.com slash discord.